Hello again, this is Robert V. Chair, and this is my video review of the L-O-K-I-T-H-O-R brand, their model JA301. It's a 12-volt car battery booster pack jump starter with a air compressor on board. It has 2,000 amps booster capability, and it'll boost up to an 8-liter ga gas car or a 6-liter diesel engine. Internally, it has a 20,000 milliamp hour power bank battery. It'll go up to 150 pounds per square inch, has an inflator, and has a nice digital readout of those numbers. And it also has a 12 volt battery voltage display, and it has a really long standby battery. It'll, it'll uh, stay charged for about 36 months, but you should try and charge it after every couple of months so that it's ready, especially in colder weather. A great product. It's also UL listed which is nice so that you know that it's all safe and the plastics and everything uh, means that they uh, satisfy the requirements of underwriter laboratories and so it has things like short circuit protection, overcurrent protection, reverse connection protection, overheat protection, over time protection and things like that nature. Uh, it has also a built-in BMS power management system so that uh, it's a very controlled output on this to protect your battery when you are jumping. Not only is this a battery booster, a tire pump, but also a portable power bank as I mentioned, and you could charge devices. We're going to be showing you that you could charge your mobile phone or anything that uses a USB-A cable, uh, you could charge with this, which is nice. This also has a really bright LED flashlight that has a blinking mode, SOS mode on there. We're going to show that. So here's what it has, as you see in front of you, it's got the unit itself. It has the jumping cables, really, really thick, high quality with the mating plug on there, instruction manual. This is the USB-A to USB-C charging cable. Now, it's important that you use this cable because you notice it's very thick, and this is a high capacity battery, so this will allow it to charge in four to six hours. If you use a thinner cable, it'll take longer. I'd recommend you use the original cable it comes with, and here's the PSI, the air adapter that's going to screw onto there. It has some attachment pieces for filling up uh, beach balls and footballs, things like that. It comes with a holder to hold everything and a nice large holder that allows you to store everything inside of it, which is nice. Charging the unit is really simple. You have a silicone flap on there. There's the USB type C. You plug the included cable into the USB type C, just like that. And then you take this end. I'd recommend you put it to at least a two amp, five volt power source. And once you plug that in, just like that, you see it starts to blink. Now I have this fully charged, so it has all the four LEDs displaying, showing that it's fully charged. This will blink. And it'll go from one, two, three, four, letting you know that it's charging and then it finishes just like that. Now, to use the power bank, it's really simple. I'm just going to demonstrate using the included cable, which has USB A to USB C. You plug that cable right into there. And now I've got the USB C. And I've got a uh, really powerful lantern right here. So I'm going to plug this in and show you. And you can see that it is now charging the lantern. You also notice that on the display, it shows USB right there. So now you can charge anything. You can charge your mobile phone, uh, uh, anything you want to charge that uses the USB-A cable. And you could use your own cable. You don't have to use this one, but any cable will work. On the top right here is a button that's going to control the front LED light very nice now let's just show you you hit that button once holding it down and it comes on full brightness and this is bright I mean it's 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 got a very bright light and then if you hit that again it goes into this blinking mode and then again it goes into an SOS emergency pattern mode and then again it goes off. I want to show you some of the physical properties of this which I'm really impressed with. It has 
oversized rubber feet on the bottom has all kinds of information about how to use the unit if you lose the instruction manual has heat ventilation down there and then on the bottom of this it has this very soft rubber compression suspension system which really makes this feel nice to hold they did a really nice job on that now on the side of the unit it has a little silicone plug and there's where you have your interface to provide your air for your tires you just tighten that up and then it has one of these nice lockable air input devices on there for your tires so to start the compressor let's turn the unit on by hitting this power button right here and you see it has PSI shown now what you want to do is you want to start advancing it and put the PSI that you want in your tires by going up or down on the display and then you hit the pump for a couple seconds and you just hold that button down to shut the pump off and that actually isn't that loud I mean I've had worse pumps that could really hurt your ears almost this actually has a nice balanced sound to it I was impressed with that now the jump starter function is where you're going to use these heavy duty cables and it only goes in one way the plug the top has a notch section like that and you put it in just like that now there's several ways that this could be used there is a force start method on here if your battery is too low to be jump started or if your battery is too low for the auto detection circuitry there is a way to bypass that and that's an important feature that this has so we're going to demonstrate that with a battery right here in my studio so here we're going to attempt to jump this battery so we're going to power the unit on right here and there it displays the voltage now you heard a click right there so right now it is blinking that LED right there so it is ready to start the car it's actually jumping the battery and it's sending energy to it and it's waiting for me to start the car at this point in most cases you want to have this connected for about a half a minute to one and a half minutes and then you'll be able to start your dead battery so here's an example I have a battery that is low it's like 10.6 and I'm gonna see if I could jump start it I'm simulating as if you had a lower battery really low so I'm just gonna uh, turn the unit on and I'm gonna bypass I'm gonna do a four start by holding down the PSI bar right there for a couple of seconds and you heard that click right there now I'm gonna put this across the battery you're gonna get a little spark and you see what it's doing it's charging the battery even though it was a low voltage so this is a way to bypass the uh, detection circuitry so that you can still jump start your car if you have a really low battery even down to like one or two or three or four volts so we've all had this happen you go to start your car and you crank it and this is what you hear So what do you do? Take the keys out and jump the vehicle. So here I have the unit already and I've got the negative lead on the negative of the battery. Here's the positive lead and here's the positive lead of the jump starter. So let's uh, turn this unit on and I'm going to connect the battery. And there's the click and there's the green light and now I could start the battery because now I'm gonna wait about 30 seconds and I'm gonna go give it a try and start it now we've got the jumper on there now there you go car starts that's fine that gives you opportunity to go get the battery checked or change it yourself so it gets you off the road and you'll need a tow. Now once the car starts, you can disconnect the jumper and you're all ready. So here I have the unit connected to one of my tires, showing me that's 32 PSI. And I'm going to raise that 
236. And there you see it shut off and it reached 36 PSI, which is what I set it to. So what do I think about the LOK ITHOR brand or model JA301, their 12 volt carburetor booster, air compressor, and power brank, and LED light. It's just, this thing has it all. And it's pretty amazing when you think about it. It has all those functions and this, look at the profile of this. It's not that big. It's unbelievable. So this is a really cool product. I was real impressed with it. I'm going to give it a full five star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're alerted to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. Hope the information I presented helps you with all your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.